Welcome everybody. So in the previous video, I showed you how to modify an existing footprint for your MOSFET. And I'll show you how to associate that uh, footprint or reassociate that new footprint with the part in Capture CIS. So go to Capture CIS and you know copy and paste or type in the name of the MOSFET that you chose in the like in the previous video. It was smsot 123 gds underscore custom. And make sure you save your project. Now go to your project tab and I'm going to create a netlist but I want to make sure that I do not have the MOSFET example.board open otherwise it'll throw an error so let's close that sure we'll save and now with the page selected go to tools create netlist create or update PCB editor board make sure this option selected here and click OK now let's recross our fingers ah oh, no warnings and no errors great I'm entering light mode here and nothing shows up. Well, we don't have a board or anything. Let's make sure that the MOSFET was actually uh, going to be placed correctly. So go to place components manually. If you check mark Q1 and then zoom in, well, I can't zoom in with the scroll. That's interesting. Choose hide and now zoom in by scrolling. Right click and choose done and there we go. Gate is pin number one, train is pin number two, and source is pin number three. No errors, no warnings, and that's how you modify uh, an existing footprint and associate it with your uh, MOS. All right, so thank you for watching this video series, and I'll do one more video to give you an overview of, or, well, not so much an overview, but a review of how the entire process, uh, how we went through it, and I'll just give a recap or summary of what I did to associate a footprint uh, with your MOSFET and Capture CIS.